Okay, so uh, here we are at another property looking at. This is a really nice neighborhood, right? Uh, this is in uh, somewhere in, uh, I won't say the exact location, but we're in, uh, where are we? Oh God, where are we? Carlton Place, Carlton Place. This house right here is uh, going for $100,000, okay? Walking up to this house. Looks pretty good. Looking good, looking good. Uh, you know, needs a little uh, landscaping here and there. Some debris lying around. And, uh, you know, things more or less look pretty decent from the outside. Okay. Well, the real estate agents wouldn't, wouldn't really, they weren't getting back to me. And anyways, I said this house has problems with mold. So let's have a look inside here. See if we can see what's inside. <laughs> I got the camera out because I wanted to record this, but I mean, I don't know what to say about that. That's that is, I don't even know how you can sell a house like that, or who would be interested in buying something like this. That is intense, intense. I've never seen anything like that in my life. So sad too. This is somebody's home, you know. You gotta wonder what happened here, you know. If somebody, you know, went on vacation, and I mean, obviously the house didn't didn't just turn like this overnight, you know. So I just can't believe that black mold. I've I've heard of this stuff. I've never actually seen it. But, uh, she gone. Let's just have a look over here, too. I've never, ever seen mold like that before. It almost looks like the house was in, like, in a fire or something, but it's just mold. I don't know what you do with a house like this. This would have been a really nice house. Look. I get the impression too that uh, you know they, the owners went on vacation or something or left um, for an extended period of time. Again, you know, like coming around the house from the outside, it just doesn't look too bad. But get out to the windows, like even even, I guess it's the garage, you could see like the, the mold growing on the inside of the window too. But yeah, I don't know what you would even do with a house like this. She said, uh, she said that uh, this, this real estate agent did say that there was mold, but idea no idea I've never seen anything like that before in my life Wow I mean just covered look at that look this poor house I mean I really don't know you just have to burn it down, I guess. But people, apparently there's been nine offers made on this house. I don't know how you would, you could, I don't know if you can, how you can realistically do anything with it. I mean, that's just, that's just unreal. I can't even believe that. Especially looking at it from the outside, I mean, it's 
obviously hasn't been occupied in a while. You look at the roof vents, they're bra they look brand new. How does, a, how does a house get to this point? That is unfortunate. I haven't even looked at here yet. What's in here? God damn. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, look at the furniture. God, Jesus. How does that happen? Oh my God, I could just imagine, you know, you, you go away on work or something, a couple years, expect to come back and live in your house again and you come back to that. Wow, wow. Beautiful property too. Beautiful. Unreal. I've never seen anything like that before. I've done a lot of work on RVs and trailers and stuff, so I've, I've seen a little bit of mold. <laughs> but, uh, all right, what do we have down here? The basement doesn't look too bad, although, Someone's got out of here in a hurry. I mean, I mean, you would die pretty quickly living in this place, I think. I don't know. It's just, it's interesting, you know, you, you, you when you're kind of looking for budget properties like I am, come across a lot of interesting situations. You know, it's not like I'm looking at properties that are brand new. All the ones that I'm looking at are, you know, have issues, but, so you just, you wonder what the story is. You wonder what actually happened here. So the utility company is taken out off the meter. So this house doesn't have power right now which means it doesn't have power then it doesn't have heat okay maybe the pipes froze and this is winter maybe the pipes froze and hopefully they shut off the municipality shut off the water to the house too just cannot believe that that is unreal Yeah, let's have a look in the basement. Yeah, yeah. There's all kids' toys and kids' toy. Oh, there's a wood stove down there. Hockey table. I don't know, it looks like somebody's fired through this house pretty quick and just grabbed their their belongings that they they really wanted and left everything else behind. I really don't see what... I, I can't even believe that they're selling this place. It's such a shame. But what do you do with it? What do you do with a place like this? God damn. Oh my god. Have one last look at that. I just cannot believe that. Wow. Look at the floors too, eh? Just, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well. Well. Wow. Unreal. Very sad. Very sad. I think that... I mean, I really hope who, there's been nine offers on that house, so somebody is going to buy that house. Perhaps they're going to just buy the property and then knock it down or something. Jesus Christ. I really have no idea what you can do with that. Maybe just, you'd have to completely gut the house. Rebuild it. Not even sure if that would be worth it, but if anybody out there... Has any idea what happens with houses like this? Please let me know because I'm very interested to know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, <clears throat> the um, 
the real estate agent just got back to me by text and um, I'm not sure uh, you know I haven't really said where this is or anything like that and I won't give it any names or anything so so uh, but the story here is, is that the owner of this house was incarcerated in 2011 home here and and thinking about after seeing that one last property it was just kind of drove it home that uh, you know in this last couple of months of, uh, of house hunting I've seen a lot of dramatic situations I, I, I never thought that that uh, it would be like this you know I'm just looking for a house and you know I never really thought about the emotional aspect of that on my end or <laughs> on the vendor's end but um, you're in uh, you get a glimpse into people's lives that and it's you know, especially in my case, you know, I'm on a budget, right? So I'm, I'm looking at all these foreclosures. You know, I'm not looking at properties where it's a happy family relocating because, you know, dad or mom got a job in a new city. You know, that's that's not what, <laughs> that's not the uh, scenarios that we're looking at here. Um, I don't know. You, you, you keep those scars, man. They don't, uh, they don't just go away. Um, makes you stronger, but... But I tell you, it, it, you know, it's you, you see stuff like that, and you just, you know, I hate to say it, but uh, I mean, people people sometimes do do bad things, you know, and uh, or you know, uh, and uh, well, you could see why it happens, man. You could you could see see where it uh, see where it comes from when you when you see things like that um, I mean just last week I saw numerous foreclosures and uh, you can tell man you walk into that place and and you get the story you know from the agent you know he you know just ran out of money you know put his heart and soul into this uh, maybe he lost his job just ran out of money and then all that hard work the bank takes the house back and uh, you know after after you put your heart and soul into working on something uh, a part of you is in that physical object you know it's it's now part of you and uh, I don't think that a lot of people really uh, recognize that um, you know I, I've only ever had old vehicles and old stuff so everything that I've owned I've had to work on and fix and so you know and in, in that process somehow that that vehicle or that house or trailer or RV whatever it becomes a part of you and it, it really you're putting your life uh, you're using your time your efforts your own two hands to give that whatever it is something new life you know so it doesn't go to the scrapyard or it doesn't go to the wreckers and in that process of giving that thing a new life I think uh, I think somehow that uh, that that object has a spirit now or, or something there's something there right so it is a uh, pretty pretty weird uh, being uh, looking at these properties and getting the story behind them and uh, yeah it's uh, it's unfortunate but definitely something to, to, to think about if you're going to start looking at foreclosures and stuff. You know, you could try and separate yourself from the from the uh, the emotional side of it. But it's difficult. It's it's difficult when you know that hey, you know, this is a guy just like me, guy or girl just like you know, just with the same visions as I did, came in and tried to make something out of this, and it didn't happen. And now I'm gonna pick up where they where they left off, you know. Just uh, anyways, just something to think about, and uh, we'll see what happens here.